Why do you like hunting big game in the way that you do? I like hunting big game the way I do because it's something that my family has done for a long time and it puts food on our table and it puts food on others' tables and it helps us a lot. There are other ways, of course, uh, to putting food on the table. You don't have to do um, big game hunting. Is there something about the actual killing that appeals? Well, I really enjoy the taste of the meat and the venison that we get from the animals that we kill. And I enjoy that we're able to have our food on our table okay, Eli, there from you're, us. Uh, you're Ariana's father, and, uh, and presumably you're the person who introduced her into uh, the, the, um, the activities that, that you're both involved in. When that photograph was put uh, on the front of the newspaper and when the photographs were posted on social media, particularly the one of Ariana with the dead giraffe, there was a furious backlash. I wonder whether you're concerned about the sort of threats and comments that your 12-year-old daughter has received. Absolutely. You know, um, I never foreseen any of the backlash or threats that has come from it. And, you know, unfortunately, I think it's just people, lack of education, people don't understand the conservation aspects of it and what it actually did for the population of giraffes on that piece of property. Yeah, there, there, there is a conservation argument. Uh, the reality of the conservation argument, as we've debated on this show many times, is the conservation money from trophy hunting is negligible in the scheme of things and they could quite happily survive without it. What has caused the outrage is not necessarily hunting per se, but it's the trophy photographs that you've allowed your daughter to pose with. In one picture, she's clutching the heart of the giraffe. In others, she seems to be glorifying in the killing of these animals. And people find that very offensive. Why the need to do the trophy pictures? Why, why celebrate and glory in the slaughter of such fabulous animals? Um, it wasn't necessarily to glorify. It was more to embrace. Um, there's always a remorse when any animal's life is taken, no matter what. And if, if any hunter ever tells you they don't have remorse, they're, they're not a true hunter. Hang on. We all have with, remorse with respect, every time with an respect, animal is Mr. taken. Gordon, with respect, there's not a shred of remorse in your daughter's face in these pictures. And I, I'm not addressing this to her because she's only 12 years old. Mm. She's, she's a kid. I'm addressing it to you because you've clearly influenced her into doing this. Do you not, when you say that she has remorse, or that you have remorse as hunters, where is that remorse? Because from where I'm looking, there's just a kind of sickening sense of glory and triumphalism about killing so these great animals. So the, the heart picture, the one that you referred to, um, that's actually a tribal thing that they do any time a draft is taken in the tribes there. So that was requested by the natives there that, that that photograph take place. And as far as the remorse, um, I posted pictures of the her saying a little prayer on the draft, and people choose to ignore it. So. You know, regardless of what anybody wants to say, that there is remorse. On your Facebook page, I noticed lots of pictures of you cuddling your pet cat, right? You've got a lovely little pet cat. How would you feel if I came to your house one day and I hunted down your pet cat and I killed it and I then posted pictures of me celebrating the slaughter of your pet cat? Well, I think that's a trick question. Yeah. Because you, that giraffe How it, wasn't your pet. There nothing, nothing that tricky giraffe about, wasn't your There's pet. nothing tricky about that question. Because well, I've, noti I've, giraffe, noti I've noticed on her Facebook the, page, there's a real weird situation where you have these pictures of these slaughtered animals, and then you have lots of cuddly but, pictures of this nice cat. So An animal's so an I'm animal, not, right? I'm, so you're saying I'm, that those pictures are of those animals, those animals are your pets or yeah, somebody else's pets? I'm oh. not allowed to have pets because I hunt. No, I'm That's just saying, how would you feel if I came and I killed your pet cat and I, pr I posted pictures of me celebrating the killing? Would you like it? You know what, that would be your choice because I've never killed a pet and most hunters don't kill pets. Right. 
So that there is kind of a derogatory question. That just falls back onto the same people that are putting those comments on Facebook about killing another human being. How can people even process those kind of things in their mind? We would never think to go out and kill somebody's pet. No, I'm sure it wouldn't. Uh, but if you did, you would do it with as, remorse. As, um, thank you both. Hunters. Thank you both very much indeed for joining us. I appreciate there are two sides to this argument. I appreciate you staying up late into the night in Utah to give your side of it. And uh, thank you very much for joining us. We have to move away from the idea that certain breeds are more dangerous than others. They're not. It's down to us as owners. And I think compulsory education is the way to go in terms of fixing some of the problems that are being apportioned to certain types of dogs, mm. which we've had for 25 years. If that had worked, we wouldn't be having